Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in today's video, I'm going to look at disability literature. Past kuch years se, aap UGC Net English ka jab exam dekhenge, to aap paayenge ki sif canonical topic se question nahi aake, ab kai kai aur interesting topic se question a rahe hain, jaysi ki partition literature, dalit literature and disability literature. So, aaj ke is video mein, we are going to look at what is disability literature and who are the most important writers and which are the most important works that you should read when it comes to disability literature so that you can answer all the questions confidently on the day of the exam. Don't forget to watch this video till the end because towards the end, we are going to look at some previous year questions so that you can understand that questions disability literature mein kis type kya rahe, aapko kya padna hai aur kitna padna hai. So, without any further delay, let's jump right into the topic and I would want you to look at your screen because there are few important points that I will be mentioning on the screen so that it becomes easy for you to digest all of this information in short span of time. So, tell me friends, first of all, what is disability literature? So, disability writers, jo hote hai, they courageously share the live realities of people who are often overlooked by society, people who are suffering from disability. In ko samajne ke liye hume disability literature ek window deta hai through which we can understand their strength, the resilience and the challenges that they go through. So we look uh, at the real life stories of these people, we look at the untold struggles and we look at the powerful determination through which they fight back. Okay, so all of this comprises of disability literature. Now we are going to look at the very first writer who is Malini Chip. Now Malini Chip kaun hai? She is a very inspiring figure uh, who is working in the domain of Indian disability writing. Uh, she herself has suffered from something called cerebral palsy. So she was born with this disease. Cerebral palsy basically kya hai? Ek mental uh, malfunctioning hai jahan pe aapke brain mein malfunctioning ho jata hai when you are born and uski wajah se aap chal fir nahi sakte normal logo ki tarah aapka pura nervous system jo hai wo sahi se function nahi kar pata it all cannot come together and uh, you know perform all the functions that it is supposed to so that is cerebral palsy and is condition uh, ke bawajood Malini did not let these challenges hold her back she has uh, written a very fantastic autobiography which is known as One Little Finger. So One Little Finger, mein she tells the story of facing a world which is not always welcoming to people with disability. And what is even more amazing is that she has earned double masters from London. So in spite of the condition of cerebral palsy, where normal people zinda nahi live sakte, she did something so fantastic. She has completed double masters. She has written an autobiography. She also started something called ADAPT. It's an organization that works for the rights and education of uh, people with disability. And for all the tireless work that she has done, she has received national awards. And when you see your Malini's life, you will understand that uh, you know, her life tells the message very clearly that no matter the obstacle, you can still make a difference in the society if you want to. So, disability literature in itself is very, very inspiring. And if you have seen that movie, hai, Margareta with a Straw, which is Kalki Koche, hai, uh, so she uh, portrays the character of Malini Chip. So, that movie is inspired from her life. And if you've not seen it, I would really request you to watch it on this weekend because um, it's very inspiring. I think OTT platforms will be available. Mil and it actually helps you understand disability literature uh, in a very different light. Now, um, if we talk about Malini Chep, so you know, they have speeches and talks, bhi diye, including the powerful TEDx talk where she talks about her journey, she talks about the importance of inclusivity. Now, inclusivity is a very important term in disability literature. Bar -bar aapke aega. Inclusivity means to include. Karna. So, we are living society mein, uh, normally, rahe rahe, but we were in college or school, and we were with our friends, and if someone comes to our class, who has a disability, hai, so, we don't include him. We used to exclude him. He used to eat food, he used to live alone. He didn't include him in his group. Mein so, that 
दैट इज समथिंग दैट डिसेबिलिटी राइटिंग टॉक्स अबाउट कि ये एक बहुत गलत ट्रीटमेंट है आपको एक इंक्लूसिव इन्वायरमेंट देना होगा जहाँ सब कोई को जगह मिले उस सोसाइटी का पार्ट बनने में यू डोंट हैव टू एक्सक्लूड और मार्जिनलाइज दीज पीपल ओके एंड इसी चीज के बारे में मालिनी चेब ने अपनी वर्क में अपने टॉक्स में सब जगह बात करिए एंड एक चीज जो अब हम बहुत डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे इज वन लिटिल फिंगर बाय मालिनी चेब विच इज हर ऑटोबायोग्राफी बिकॉज ये पूछा गया है नेट में तो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट कि आपको इसका एक बेसिक ओवरऑल थीम समरी का आइडिया हो सो so, अगर हम बात करते हैं वन लिटिल फिंगर की सो so, बहुत ही इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरी है शी टॉक्स अबाउट हर लाइफ विथ सेरेबल पैलसी ओपनिंग अप अबाउट हर पर्सनल स्ट्रगल्स एंड अचीवमेंट्स देन शी ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट कि कैसे डिस्पाइट ऑल दीज फिजिकल चैलेंजेस शी डिड नॉट स्टॉप शी ओवरकेम ऑल द सोसाइटल बैरियर्स पर्सनल हार्डशिप्स टू अचीव academic success and became a leading voice in the disability rights ka domain through this book she shows that through sheer determination aap life mein kuch bhi achieve kar sakte hain and yahan pe she advocates for inclusivity and she also advo advocates for accessibility for everyone with disability so aap dekh payenge ki hum sab normally jo log jee rahe hain hamare liye society ne bahut kuch suvidhaein di hai बट पीपल हु आर डिसेबल्ड जिनको कुछ चैलेंजेस हैं जो व्हील चेयर पर हैं जो चल फिर नहीं सकते उनको अगर नॉर्मल जीवन जीना है तो उनके लिए गवर्नमेंट को समाज को काफ़ी चीज़ों को एक्सेसिबल बनाना होगा रैम्प्स बनाने होंगे बहुत सारी ऐसी चीज़ें करनी होगी ताकि वो भी एक आम इंसान की तरह अपना जीवन बिता सके सो इन दोनों चीज़ों के बारे में मालिनी चेब ने अपनी ऑटोबायोग्राफी में बात करी है इंक्लूसिविटी कि सोसाइटी उन्हें इंक्लूड करे अपने साथ में लेके चले उनको साइड लाइन नहीं करे एंड नंबर टू कि एक्सेसिबिलिटी पे काफ़ी फोकस किया कि चीज़ें एक्सेसिबल हो डिसेबिलिटी जिन जो सफर कर रहे हैं डिसेबिलिटी से उनके लिए भी ओके नाउ एज यू कैन सी द एंटायर बुक इज वेरी वेरी इमोशनल ठीक है वो अपनी पर्सनल जर्नी के बारे में बात करती है एंड शी गिव्स ऑल ऑफ आस अ चांस थ्रू अर बुक दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हर वर्ल्ड अ लिटिल बेटर ओके नाउ अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू शेयर बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड राइटर इज दैट ऑल द important points and notes of this particular video lecture that you can see on screen is available in a pdf format you just have to drop a whatsapp message on the number that is there on your screen and my team will be able to share those notes free of cost with you so that aapko likhna na pade you can uh, clearly you know uh, use those notes and start preparing for ugc net so drop a whatsapp or you can check out the link in the description aap wahan se bhi hame whatsapp pe reach out kar sakte hain and you can get the free copy of the notes okay so now we look at the second important author of disability literature and his name is mike oliver so mike oliver is another very legendary figure in the world of disability rights and he was a british sociologist as well as a disability right activist um i'm sure that if you've ever taken a book or googled uh, disability literature you will have come across mike oliver because uh, today how much we know about disability this person has shifted the entire conversation so he wasn't just any other sociologist he was a game changer uh, he was the brilliant mind behind the social model of disability which shifted the focus from seeing disability as a personal problem to viewing it as a societal issue so basically he made the entire world realize that the barrier society puts up is what is uh, keeping these people back so it is not the disability which is the real problem the real problem is the barriers that the society is putting up and jo inclusion in logo ko mil nahi pata hai us wajah se in logo ko sabse zyada challenges face karna hota hai inke jo disorder hai uski wajah se inko zyada challenges nahi hai because wahan pe inka will power bahut strong hai you might have seen those uh, videos on youtube jahan pe uh, there are people uh, poor people jinke हाथ नहीं है और वो पैर से पेंटिंग्स बना रहे हैं मतलब ऐसे ऐसे आपको डिसेबल्ड लोगों की कहानियाँ सुनने को मिलेगी जो इतने एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी चीज़ें कर रहे हैं जो हम शायद नॉर्मल लोग सोच भी नहीं सकते हैं सो आप देख सकते हैं कि जब भी कोई इंसान को अगर डिसेबिलिटी है तो उसकी विल पावर इतनी स्ट्रांग है कि वो बहुत कुछ लाइफ में अचीव कर पा रहा है लेकिन कहाँ पे दिक्कत आ रही है उसको जो सोसाइटी बैरियर्स पुट कर रही है जो इंक्लूजन उनको नहीं मिल पाता है जो उनको हमेशा बहुत लुक डाउन अपॉन किया जाता है या उनको है ना बोल दिया जाता है कि अरे तुम हटो तुमको तो तुम तो डिसेबल्ड हो तुम क्या ही उखाड़ लोगे सो 
वेन ऑल ऑफ दिस बिहेवियर पॉप्सअप तब जाके उनका मोटिवेशन खराब होने लगता है ओके माइक ऑलोवर की अगर हम बात करें सो ही वॉज अ प्रोफेसर एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ ग्रीन विच एंड ही वॉज इन जस्ट टीचिंग देर ही शेप द एंटायर मॉडर्न डिसेबिलिटी थ्योरी एंड पॉलिसी वेन ही वॉज इन द कॉलेज he challenged the old school ideas and he was always pushing for inclusion um it is um, you know with due respect i can say that thanks to mr mike oliver because aaj jitni bhi conversations ho pa rahi hai disability ke bare mein and all these conversations about breaking down the barriers and creating a more accessible world for everybody all of this conversation was first started by mike oliver and his work is still influencing disability right movement across the globe so very very important writer now it is very important ki hum inke kuch important works ko dekhe because uh, ugc net ke exam mein aap mostly dekhenge ki works ko author se match karne uh, ke liye bola jata hai so aapko chronology yaad karne ki zarurat nahi hai for mike oliver's work but you should know the names of the work that has been written by mike oliver okay so the major four works that is there on your screen you can see first one is politics of disablement second is understanding disability from theory to practice third is disability and modernity a sociological perspective and fourth is the new politics of disablement now out of all these work the only work that you should know a little bit in detail is understanding disability from theory to practice now in this work mike oliver doesn't just introduce the social model of disability but he takes it a step further by showing how this can be applied in real life okay he helps us understand that it's not just the disability itself that limits people but the barriers that has been created by the society so oliver challenges the traditional medical model also which is uh, known as the medical model of disability which focuses on a person's physical or mental impairment instead mike oliver argues that it society's failure to make accessible environment for these disabled people and that is the real reason uh, where we need to fight okay so he points out that the medical model looks at individuals as problems that need fixing while ignoring the bigger societal picture so basically आप देख पाएंगे कि मेडिकली बोल दिया जाता है कि जो भी लोगों को डिसेबिलिटी है कि अच्छा ये तो प्रॉब्लम है इनको कैसे ठीक किया जाए इनको कैसे फिक्स किया जाए वेयर एज माइक ऑलिवर इज सेइंग कि इन्हें फिक्स करने की जरूरत नहीं है ये अपने आप अपनी जिंदगी काट सकते हैं बहुत अच्छी तरीके से बट आपको सिर्फ एज अ सोसाइटी ये करना है कि दुनिया को बहुत एक्सेसिबल बनाना है इनके लिए आज भी आप देखेंगे कि कितनी सारी बिल्डिंग्स है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन है जहाँ पे रैंप नहीं है तो अगर कोई इंसान व्हील चेयर पर है तो वो कैसे एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ट्रैवल करेगा बसेस है तो बसेस में रैंप नहीं है कि आप अगर कोई स्टेस से नहीं चढ़ सकता है किसी के पास में व्हील चेयर है या फिर स्टिक है तो वो उसके लिए एक रैंप बनाया जाए राधर देन स्टेस सो इस टाइप की छोटी छोटी चीज़ें Uh, हम अगर अपने सोसाइटी में इम्प्लीमेंट करें तो हम देखेंगे कि हम एक बहुत इंक्लूसिव वर्ल्ड बना पाएंगे जहाँ पे हर आदमी uh, एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ट्रैवल कर पा रहा है अपने काम खुद कर पा रहा है उसको किसी पे डिपेंडेंट रहने की ज़रूरत नहीं है उसे ये नहीं महसूस होगा रोज कि उसे किसी से मदद लेनी है जिसकी वजह से ही फील्स एज एफ पीपल आर लुकिंग डाउन अपॉन देम और पीपल आर शोइंग अननेसेसरी सिंपथी फॉर देम राइट सो ये हाईलाइट्स माई कॉल ओवर थ्रू आउट ऑल हिज वर्क ही हाईलाइट्स दैट यू नो all these everyday things like inaccessible buildings transportation discriminatory practices make life really difficult for these disabled people and these barriers according to oliver is what leads to marginalization and exclusion of people with disability rather than their impairments so unke impairments ki wajah se unko problem nahi hai real problem kuch aur hai aur use mike oliver apne works mein highlight karte hai okay नाउ अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू शेयर कि अगर आप एनिमेटेड वे में सारे ये जितनी भी स्टोरीज मैंने अभी आपको बताई है वो आप समझना चाहते हैं ऑफ ऑल द मेजर पोयम्स प्लेज एंड नॉवल्स देन यू कैन जॉइन आर ऑनलाइन कोर्स फॉर यू जी सी नेट वेर वी एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीज समरीज इन एनिमेटेड मैनर सो दैट इट बिकम्स वेरी ईजी फॉर यू टू ग्रेस्प द स्टोरीज एंड टू रिमेंबर इट ऑन टिल द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम बिकॉज आप कोई भी चीज़ को मूवी की तरह अपने सामने देख लेंगे तो आपको बहुत आराम से वो चीज़ लॉन्ग रन में याद रहेगी सो इफ़ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर ए मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक्स दैट इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो नाउ लेट इज लुक एट राइट नंबर थ्री एंड शी इज सॉन्ग प्यांग वन 
uh, as you can know from the name itself that she isn't a british or an american writer she is from south korea and um, very very interesting lady when i was researching more about her uh, from ugc net perspective i got to know that she is not just a writer she is instead a filmmaker okay so she is a writer and she is also a filmmaker she studied from korean academy of uh, film arts and she beautifully blends cinematic storytelling with very deep and emotional narratives uh something very interesting that i found about her is that she's a daughter of a well known politician okay song ha kyu uh but in spite of coming from a political background she was able to carve out her own space especially in the young adult fiction and her work touches on social and emotional complexities making it very very relatable to young readers not just in korea but throughout the world and now let us look at some of her very important works uh three major works that you should know the names would be sufficient you don't need to dive detail uh in detail uh we i will be telling you there's one work just ka aapko thoda sa pata hona chahiye because that is the work which is generally asked in net exam so the three works are almond and then there are two korean works jiska jo english translation hai wo hai counter attack of the 30 and april snow now out of these three the only ones that you need to understand uh, in detail is almond uh, because aap agar inke bare mein google bhi karenge so the most talked about thing about um, uh, this lady is her work almond now this uh, novel almond talks about story of yungi okay a boy who has elixthamia it is a condition that makes it very difficult for a person to feel emotions so aap emotionless ho rahe ho basically heartless ho rahe ho and it's a mental condition disability hai ye and the book explores the themes of empathy connection and emotional growth of this uh, boy who learns to navigate a world that feels absolutely distant for uh, for him and this novel has won changbi prize for young adult fiction in 2016 and it has also gained international recognition uh so this is all about the three writers now let us quickly look at a few pyqs so that you can understand ki aapko kis type se preparation karni hai for disability literature so as you can see uh the first question is right there in front of you you have to match the author with the text so as i told you that you need to know the names of the text of these uh particular writers because waha se questions are rahe so we uh, read about mike oliver he is the author of politics of disablement and then we have uh, little finger one little finger which is an autobiography of malini chip so going with this logic option one is correct and like i mentioned before please remember the names of these works because these are very very common type of questions that you can see in the exam the next question uh as you can see is from malini chips one little finger okay and uh, the the question is basically talking about the um you know understanding of disability literature so in malini chips one little finger and in other similar autobiographies by writers like christy brown jinone likha hai my left foot and then we have stephen uh, kisoto jinone likha hai planet of the blind so a common theme is how people with disability fight for recognition and independence so as you can see on screen uh, the question is asking that um, kya major theme hai jo in sari autobiographies mein hai so yahan pe aap dekh payenge the common theme is that in all all these works the authors are sharing their personal journey of overcoming not only physical challenges but also societal barriers and they strive to be seen as individuals with their own identity and capabilities rather than being defined by their disability so isi ke bare mein humne teenon writers mein bhi baat kari hai now there's a question on your screen uh, read it and i would love to see your answer in the comments uh, section so match the column ka ek question hai and uh, let me know what is the correct option in the comments below if you're looking for more pyqs on this topic you can check out the exclusive mock test uh, series wherein we provide you with 3000 plus topic wise questions plus after every test you get detailed performance report ranking in the all india leaderboard which helps you to spot your weak and strong areas so with that note i come to the end of this video that's it from my side for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture 
Till the time we meet next, happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arkatakarwa.com.